I can remember when I was a kid, when my dad flew F-100s out here, and, and walking on this concrete and watching him go out to the, the, the jet. 50 years, our family has been blessed that we've been able to fly jet fighters in Des Moines, Iowa. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's and I joined the unit in 88, and he's the squadron commander with the A-7 fighter aircraft. And I'm in the gun shop and munitions, and I got to arm his aircraft. And then it's so surreal that here it is a couple years later, and now I get to fly the F-16, get to walk on the very ramp that he got to walk on. I mean, that's just really special. Twenty years, I got to do some really cool stuff. I got to travel the world. Um, I got to go into combat and put a smackdown on the enemy. Fighters are great, and we all love going 800 miles an hour with our hair on fire. But thinking about where the Air Force is going in the next 20, 30, 40 years, we're on the cutting edge. We're getting the new Gucci toy early before anybody else. So you have to think about what is the future and grab it while you can get it. The vision of the leadership of the Iowa National Guard has scored us a mission that's going to be around what we call an enduring mission for the next 20, 50 years. My father got to fly jets here, I got to fly jets here, but now I can confidently say to my children, maybe even my grandkids, that there's going to be a neat opportunity at the Des Moines Guard for them.